<clears throat> but being quarantined is really boring and I work from home now so that's how I do it. Eat, sleep, eat, <laughs> sleep, work, and speak in the house. But today I've decided to go ahead and dye my natural 4C hair. Um, I'm going to use new bleach which I've done before in the past, before I went natural. And it came out pretty decent, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna hold you guys up too long with talking. I'm gonna go ahead and just set this camera up and get started. It's already 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so... I'm gonna get into this video. Hope you guys enjoy, and if you have not done so already, go ahead and check out my previous video where I did straighten my natural 4C hair myself. So let's get into this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Period. <laughs> let's get into this video. I'm gonna dye my hair. I'm gonna be using these products. I've had this for years now actually. Um, but this is 6R 6.6, which is a dark red. Similar to an auburn kind of color, burgundy-ish, and I'm gonna go in and use my 30 extra lift, as well as my 20 volume developer. We're not using bleach in this video, just so I can, you know, protect my actual hair. And I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Got my full paper shower cap, hair ties, base teeth comb, my leave-in conditioner, of course we have the bowl, brush, gloves, alcohol, and your handy handy petroleum jelly. So I'm gonna get started. All right y'all, so I'm just reading the instructions, making sure that I'm doing this correctly. I am gonna be parting my hair in four. It's already detangled, so doing that so I'm gonna have to mix uh, okay so I'm gonna mix two ounces of this and they're all the same color so hopefully it comes out and it does say to get you a non-metallic bowl so I got the little cheap 50 cents Walmart bowl. Add and pour that in. Like mixing concoction. Oh, that shit is strong. with two ounces of Central Scalp Developer. My hair is not, my scalp is not that sensitive. So I'm going to be using my 20 volume developer. I, like I said before, I've, I've had these products for years now before I even moved out of my mom's before I went natural. And I've been natural now for three years. Going on four. So I'm just checking to make sure this is not expired. I don't even know if it can get expired, but it does not hurt to check. So. It does say two ounces of the developer. I don't even know how much that is. Well, this is two ounces. So, that would make sense. 
Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. All right, so we do two. So it's basically just that and that together. And now once this that is done, I'll go ahead and take that. Good. I think that is good. Let me mix this up. I have not done a DIY in a minute when it comes to my hair. Let me know in the comments how this quarantine is treating you guys. I am extremely bored, hence the reason of me wanting to dye my hair. But I actually wanted to do this for a minute now. All right, so let us mix with the best of my ability. I'm gonna go ahead. Damn, my elbows are actually down. Please excuse my elbows, actually. I just got out of the shower, so I got the lotion in my skin. Already detangled. And I did watch a YouTube video on how to do it just to refresh my memory. She did say to start with the back first. So that's what we're gonna do, is start with the back. I'm doing this for the me. <laughs> All right. So, let's get the gloves. And I did wear a shirt that I don't care about, so it's fine. My gloves are Mitch Match, so don't come for me. You guys ever go to like the, when you have like a doctor's appointment and they are like, yeah, the doctor's gonna be in with you shortly. Just go ahead and wait. <laughs> and y'all take gloves. I swear I'm still in gloves. All right, so let's just make sure. <sighs> Developers and the scalp developer. How the phone series is next for high I love buns. Well, I don't have blonde hair, so. Right, 
even with the developer in the bowl, you can see the color change. So there's that front of your hair. Let's see what I can't see. Take my time. I wish this came in like a bottle versus me dipping. I'm literally just feeling for it. And with the gloves on, I can't really feel my hair. But it's fine. I'm gonna go in with it with just my hands. I have not washed my hair in two weeks because remember I did that video where I did wash and also flat iron just so I can get a length check. Oh, no, I forgot. Let me do that now. So I want the Vaseline. Just so that does not stick. Literally, it is like it literally is like perming your hair. Okay, I cannot see. Ooh, 
It is hot as hell. I probably could have um Dang, I got a small head. I've only used one bottle. This is actually a lot of work. <sighs> Hope y'all are safe out there. I heard that they actually opened a beach in Jacksonville, Florida. Please do not go out there. <laughs> like, please. It's a trap. It's a trap. Just stay home. You're already home anyway, so might as well just stay home. You can really tell that I used to get my hair curled. Just by the way, I'm applying this. Now with the video that I did watch with the girl, she did use foil paper. So I might just do that. Onto the second. It don't even say. 
how the hell long you're supposed to keep it on, but I guess you gotta wait until you see your desired color. This was in a bottle, this would have been a lot more easier to apply. Truly, I don't know how the hell I'm going to put the, the um, which color on? Okay, so for this, I'm just gonna put it in my damn hand. Do not judge me if I'm doing this thing sloppy.
if y'all could see my leg <laughs> right now. Bruh. <laughs> Everything gets. Gets it, gets it, gets it. I truly don't know how the hell the back looks. I really don't know. <laughs> I really want to finish the rest of this. It's on my titty. <laughs> ah. This is so funny to me. I don't know why. I'm gonna be dyed up. Basically. Damn. Okay, hold on. Let me take this off. I'm gonna try this for a bigger thing. I don't know how it's gonna work. Wish I had more gloves. So. Alright, I'm gonna try this wallpaper thing. See if it works. I'll be back. Okay, so I look like <laughs> a tin head, but um yeah, so I did the best that I could. That's all that matters here. Um, I'm gonna leave this on for probably 30 minutes. So I'll come back to you guys with the results. Okay, y'all, so I actually processed it for 15 minutes and I'm gonna go in with the rest that I have left. 
and then process again for 30 minutes. I'm thinking, should I just create another batch? Just finish the last bottle. Like, I don't know if it's gonna come out. I'm going for a burgundy look. I think I should just do the last bottle. <laughs> because one, that's not gonna do. So I'm just gonna do the last one. This is the third bottle of the same color. And I'm gonna take my handy dandy developer. See if I can rinse my glove. I know how it looks on me, so I'm good. The last time I did it, I used four, and my hair was actually, was my hair bleach? I think my hair was bleach at the time, before I went natural, so. Actually, no lies, it wasn't bleached at the time. I did it just the same way. 
Okay. I'm just gonna put it in there. There goes that. It's gonna go all over the sink. <laughs> I'm going to have to part it, try to get in the middle. Hold.
All right, I'm gonna do 30 minutes this time. Instead of 15, and I'm just gonna clean everything up. <clears throat> Sorry y'all, it's been 30 minutes. And as you can see, this is how it's looking. I'm about to go wash it out. What I'm gonna use uh, is for shampoo. I'm using my replenishing castor oil shampoo, which is actually color safe and paraben free. And I'm gonna be using my replenishing castor oil conditioner. Castor oil does grow your hair and strengthen natural hair. Also color safe and broken free. And this is by Beauty Untouched by SJ Creations. I actually got these two big bottles at Ross, I believe. They were $7.99 each. So I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out of my head, wash my hair, and I'm also gonna deep condition as well. The only deep conditioner that I do have is Cantu. Cantu is not really my go-to when it comes to natural hair, but that's all I do have in the house. So I'll see y'all when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so I basically shampooed, conditionered, deep conditionered, and this is the final result. It's so wet. My hair shrinks really badly. This is the look, y'all. It came out really good, actually. If y'all can see the color. Alrighty, guys. This took maybe two hours, two and a half hours to do. Um, I did, you know, use my alcohol and rub my um, edges to make sure. So it doesn't look like a line, basically. So it looks like a natural color in a way. But y'all, the color took really well. I was going for a burgundy look. And this is it. Um, of course, if you wanna see it styled and whatnot, just follow my Snapchat and or Instagram. And once again, like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and let this air dry because I do not blow dry my hair. And I'll see you guys in my next video.